Hey, what's going on everyone? Seth from Just Seth PC. I'm in the process of tearing down my uh, my water-cooled build that I had in my 750D and kind of going over everything now that it's all apart because I started my YouTube channel after I built everything. But today we're going to go over how to disassemble and clean a e EK Water Blocks Supremacy Evo. Uh, I already cracked all the screws loose, so don't worry, they're not always going to be this loose. And as you can see, there's still a little a uh, little bit of coolant left in there. But basically, you need a 2.5 Allen. Um, whenever you buy the Supremacy Evo, it comes with the Allen key, but I lost mine a long time ago. I just prefer my screwdriver set anyways. But super simple. Once you crack them loose, that's the hard part. I actually had to use a pair of pliers to get these out of here. But take the four screws out, and it, it'll fall apart how it is, so you just got to be careful. Um, okay, or not. Crack it loose, and remember the orientation that you have it in. But here's your cold plate. As you can see, it's rather dirty. I already cleaned all the thermal paste off, and you have an O-ring. You have to be careful not to lose or damage. And I just have a bowl of uh, distilled water over here. But here's all your all your micro fins. We're running this coolant now for I don't know six seven months, and you can see it's it's actually trash. <laughs> Probably from like a paper towel the last time I cleaned this off. But the fins look really good still. Whatever you do, don't use don't use anything really strong to clean this stuff. EK actually recommends using um, what is it? Lemon juice to clean this, or just like how I'm doing distilled water. As you can see, I'm just, and voila, that's all you need. And you don't, you don't have to worry about bending these fins, because you can, I mean, I'm probably going to slice my thumb open before I, I bend one of those pins, or fins, I should say, not pins, fins. But, set it down over there on the paper towel. Like I said, remembering how remembering how you had it and so ours was pulled off like this so the the mounting plate you really don't have to clean but I have coolant on there so just a quick dunk and good enough for me now you have to maneuver the jet plate out this is what actually um, controls where the water goes over the fins but I mean you can see there's no there's no tarnishing there's no like build up or anything along those lines it's just there was coolant on it uh, yeah if you look right here you see that's just like a chunk of paper towel so we're just gonna ignore that now this piece on new on new blocks will come apart rather easily but as you can see, it comes out in two pieces. And if you're and if you're wondering why it's cloudy like this, uh, it's because of the XSPC white, uh, like milky coolant that I used. For some reason, it stained the living crap out of my acrylic pieces. It was like you can see that is supposed to be clear. It's not supposed to be milky, I guess is the best word for it. And the last part is the plexi, the plexi block, the plexi head, whatever you want to call it. Normally, I will grab a toothbrush and do this, but today we're using Q-tips. Because I'm poor like that. 
I'm only poor like that because you guys aren't watching my videos that much. But just kind of, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, this is probably how I got that gunk in there from the last time. But just kind of clean up around the edges too. Because you don't want anything to compromise the seal for that o-ring. And whatever you do, do not use alcohol on here. My last one, I decided that it was going to be a great idea to use isopropyl alcohol. And it basically ruins it. Um, it won't compromise the water tightness, but it will make it look absolutely terrible. But there we go all clean. Now I'll get rid of my nasty paper towel that's here. And we can start reassembly. Come on. Get back out of there. Okay. With it, with it sitting like this, see how the holes are facing the right way? Spin it 180. I mean it really only fits in one way. Just like that. And you will notice that the holes are off-centered. Like this one, which is the outlet, is off to the side. And you can see that those holes are going to be the same. So, I mean, once again, it only goes on one way. Take your jet plate. Now, this, this one is specific to um, AMD. So, you got to make sure. I say you got to make sure. Uh, but you got to make sure that you have the right jet plate in here. Uh, whenever you buy the Supremacy or the Supremacy Evo, it will come with different jet plates. But it just snaps into place. Go ahead and take that O-ring that I said to not lose or damage or anything. And just ever so gently put it into place. Don't run your finger along the edge of it because you can crimp it. Like don't kind of pat it in place. Go ahead and take your mounting plate and that goes and sits right around the o-ring and then this to be sure kind of pat it down again and like i said remember the way that it went you remember the gunk was going or the little bit of buildup i had was going against the fins so For some reason, like whenever EK made these AM4 back plates, or I say back plates, AM4 mounting plates, um, they were in a rush or something because sometimes they're a little bit of a bear to get on. But go ahead and run these down, you know, just until they're they're snug. same thing whenever you tighten up a CPU start over here give it about a quarter of a turn a quarter of a turn a quarter of a turn and etc and then go ahead and get all the excess water off of here And then, would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? Go ahead and clean this nickel cold plate off just a little bit better. And then look at that. I mean, it's a little scratched up, but I've had this thing on, I don't know, probably about 15, 20 different computers. So, applying thermal paste, taking thermal paste off, blah, 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 cleaning it, and etc. But as you can see, it is nice and shiny and clean and nice and dry so there we have it that is how to disassemble and clean your 
uh, EK Water Blocks Evo Supre or Supremacy Evo, both MX or for AMD and for um, Intel. But good thing that these things are you know solid metal because that would have really sucked. But yeah, there you go. So if you guys want to see more of the update that I have going on here, uh, like this video, subscribe for more. I'm going to have a very, very nice surprise coming up in the following week. So there you have it, folks. Catch you on the next one.